Hello coin collectors out there. Welcome back to the Big D Coins channel. What you see in front of you right here are two coins that come to you from the country of South Africa. So the one on the left, this one right here is a two cent coin, which was made in 1974. And the one on the right is a 10 cent coin, which happens to be dated 1978. So four years apart, but we've got some different metal contents and some different designs that we'll see once we flip the coins over. So I think you guys are really going to enjoy this video. I don't get too many coins from Africa, so this is a nice kind of feature right here to include all of the continents in the Big D Coins channel. A little bit about South Africa, in case you're unfamiliar with the country. It's a relatively large country. It's 24th as far as area goes. It's 24th as well as far as population, and it's GDP ranks 30th. The country is located in Africa, as you can imagine by the title of it, right at the very bottom is South Africa. Now let's get into this coin right here, the lower denomination one first, and then we'll get into uh, the other one second, and we'll do a little side-by-side -side comparison a little bit later in the video. So what we're looking at here is the two cents South Africa, Sud Africa. That's what we see going around the right side right here. We've got South Africa right here and Sud Africa right there. This one is dated 1974. This particular coin was made from 1970 up until 1990. Uh, like many of the other coins that are on the channel, it has been demonetized. That's probably why I'm able to get these coins so cheap, um, is that they're not worth anything now. But to coin collectors like us, we still find them pretty exciting. So a uh, nice coin to share with you right here. Its metal content is bronze. It weighs four grams, so that's a little bit higher than your standard United States penny. Has a diameter of 22.45, which is a little bit larger than your United States penny. What you're looking at on the obverse of the coin right here is the South African coat of arms. Now, as you can see, it's a little bit worn out. It's got a little bit of blue gunk on the right side right there, but it's a very nice looking coin. We also see the motto on the coin. I would imagine it's right there that says ex unat varius, which translates to power through unity. It's surrounded by bilingual uh, English, which is on the left right here, and then Afrikaans legend, which is on the right right here. So the name of the country in English, which I understand, and then uh, Africa's legend on the right. We flip it over. We've got a nice animal on the back right here. This is a wildebeest bucking left. So it's a wildebeest. Uh, looks, my initial thought was that it's a horse, but it's got these horns on it. So that's uh, the key characteristic of the wildebeest right there. And it is bucking like a horse does to the left. As far as the mintages of this coin goes, uh, the highest year of production is kind of toward the end. In 1990, there were 215 million of these that were produced. Uh, the previous couple of years, 1989, 213 million, 1988, 182 million. But if you go all the way back to 1974, which is what I've got right here, there are only 25 million of these made. So uh, the lower mintage years are the earlier in the series, 1970s up until uh, 1981, they don't break a million. Excuse me, they don't break 100 million. Then from 83 up until 1990, there are 100 and 200 million coins that were produced each year. Now let's put this uh, side by side with this one right here. Now you can clearly see the different metal contents. That's the most uh, noticeable contrast between the two. The one on the left is the bronze uh, metal that we were looking at before. And the one on the right is the nickel. So that kind of looks like your standard United States nickel or Canadian nickel or whatever uh, other nickel you're used to looking at. So the value, uh, I didn't forget, I didn't mention the value of this one right here. So the value of this one is two cents, which is abbreviated dot zero two Z A R. This one right here is 10 cents. So that's abbreviated dot one zero Z A R. It has a diameter of 20.7 millimeters, a weight of four grams. So it weighs the exact same between these two coins right here. So it's got a smaller diameter to it, so it's a more dense metal than the bronze that we see right here. We see the same obverse on the uh, front side of the coin right here. So the obverse uh, features the South African coat of arms with the same motto. We see the same legend. So we've got uh, English, South Africa, and then Africanus on the right right here. This one happens to be dated 1978. 
as far as the production amounts for 1978 goes, uh, there were 25 million of these that were made. The highest year of production is much lower than the previous uh, two cent coin that we're looking at. Highest year of production is 1988, but there are only 48 million of them made. And now for the reveal of the reverse side, which I'm sure is much anticipated, oriented correctly for you right here. So we see the alloy, alloy, alloy plant, um, you know, the kind of uh, plant you put on after getting a sunburnt alloy, alloy. So we see that plant uh, right down there at the bottom. Very simple design, not much going on here. Kind of uh, keeps it inconsistent with the uh, wildebeest coin over here. There is uh, no legends other than just the uh, face value of the coin. So we've got 10 right here, then two cents right here, wildebeest alloy plant. And then we've got a uh, nothing else, just the fields of the coin. So the background imagery is just flat. As far as the edge of the coins, the 10 cent coin is smooth. The two cent coin has a redded edge to it. I'll put these back on their obverse for you and we'll start kind of to wrap up the video. So hopefully everyone enjoyed it. If you're into coin collecting, please do check out some of the other videos on this channel. Thank you very much, everyone, and best of luck coin collecting out there. Enjoy.